got the cylinder head off of my WD-45. The top side doesn't look too bad, but all of the exhaust ports are pretty nasty. And the piston side is pretty corroded. But I'm going to stick this in my electrolysis tank, start it, and let it go for a couple of days. Well, here's my DIY electrolysis tank. bubbling up there pretty good. I've got this part over here as well from the uh, oil bath air cleaner. It's getting harder to find a manual battery charger so I took my digital one here. I connected the charger to this battery which will eventually go on the tractor. And then from the battery, connected the terminals to my negative post here, which runs down to the parts, and my positive posts here, which are my sacrificial metals. And so far, they're doing a pretty good job. Okay, this is after one hour of running uh, my electrolysis tank. And we can see it's still bubbling pretty good. Water is definitely more brown. And this part over here is rather bubbly too. And my sacrificial metals are working pretty good. The battery is not hot at all, so it's working pretty good. The terminals are not hot either. And this is still going strong. Uh, 40 amp boost. This is the next morning. This is what it looks like. It's still going strong. Still bubbling up down there. Still cleaning. Let's take a look at this one. Let's see what it looks like. Doesn't look too bad, but it could use some more, that's for sure. A lot cleaner than it was. Okay, so here's the cylinder head after it's been soaking in that electrolysis tank. Version 1, and you can see it's removed quite a lot of that rust. I'm going to go ahead and scrub this. I'm going to put it inside the electrolysis tank. Version 2. This is after cleaning it all up. For the most part, I haven't gotten into the exhaust ports yet, but there's some sludge that have come out. Flaking them. This is the other side. Got that all nice and shiny clean. Okay, this is electrolysis tank 2.0. This is a 30 gallon trash can that I zip tied eight pieces of half inch by four foot uh, rebar into, which I purchased at uh, Home Depot yesterday. And after I zip tied around the outside, I took the extras from the tops of these and uh, cut them up and welded them around on the inside in different spots, various spots and various levels. And I left one longer to put my positive clamp on to. So I'm going to fill this up um, to about 25 or 20 gallons or so and then put in about half a cup to a cup of um, washing soda. Uh, I think we're getting close there too. Okay, tank number two is about all hooked up. I've got the washing soda in there. 
and I've got the uh, cylinder head hanging off of this 1500 pound rated winch I installed last winter right on up there the chain I got from tractor supply company and uh, it doesn't have any coated metals as far as I can tell but I did have to clean off some of that assembly oil that they send with it so we're gonna lower it down in here So I got my charger, my battery all hooked up, and as you can see, it's bubbling quite nicely. It's already going to work. Here comes the rust. I got my negative here on the chain, and my positive there on my positive anodes. And we're just going to go ahead and let this sit. Here we go with day two and version two of the electrolysis tank, and this is what it looks like already. So this was the uh, version one tank. There's a little bit of trash right there. And most of it's probably settled to the bottom. Of course, a lot of it's on those metals there. And so that's after the first cleaning for three days. And this one has only been in here for um, one day. So I put it in there yesterday afternoon. It's been about 24 hours now. Alright, today I'm installing these valves. I've already got my new uh, exhaust and intake valves installed into the uh, cylinder head here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and install the springs and the uh, seals. Are nice and clean. Probably stick them on there. Now I put these uh, seals on. Let's hold the back side of the uh, valve. And push them on just like that. Now that I've got these in, I'm going to lay this cylinder head down so that these valves stay up. I'm going to lay it down on top of this 4x4 uh, four four that I have here. Alright, I'm going to take my spring and my cap, put it on top of the, uh, the valve just like that. I took a picture of this before I ever disassembled it so that I would know exactly how these were supposed to go back together. I just put them back on the way that uh, they came off. The way that these were installed originally is cylinder one, shallow deep, cylinder two, deep shallow. Cylinder three, shallow deep, cylinder four, deep shallow. So they're, they're just kind of piggyback off of each other there like that. Alright, there's valve number one successfully installed. Alright, well there's number uh, number two right there. Alright, put these, these in like that and push. There they are, those are seated.
all of these valves are done. Just making sure all these valves are, all these springs are straight. And it'll straighten up too when they run, but here's the finished product. Look how clean that is.